On the Preparation of the Corpse, Volume 3, The Fresh Corpse. Fresh and decayed corpses are those that still have flesh upon them. If their decay is advanced, or if you wish a skeletal servant instead, place the corpse along a coast or in a swamp or marsh. Animals are the necromancer's greatest allies when it comes to stripping the flesh from a corpse. The ravenous mud crabs of Morrowind can strip a corpse down to its bones in a matter of days. Lesser crabs in other provinces can do the same in a matter of weeks. If you wish to create a zombie servant, one need only bring the corpse to a suitable site and enact the proper rituals. However, there are a few tips that a young necromancer might want to know. For instance, a decayed servant may be raised many times, even if they have been dismembered by those who do not appreciate our art. If one of your servants comes to an unfortunate end, you may raise the servant again by carefully gathering as many parts as you can find, binding the bones with leather straps and sewing the flesh, if it is not too decayed, with catgut. Your servant may be weaker each time this is done, but with care and maintenance one may raise zombies dozens of times. However, creating a mere zombie is a method best left to lazy or desperate practitioners. With only a bit of time and effort, one may create a far more useful mummified servant. The first step to creating a mummified servant is to soak the decaying corpse in a bath of salt or natron for at least one month. This will halt the decay of the corpse, and if the corpse is fresh enough to have an unpleasant odor, the salts will remove that as well. In a moist climate, such as Argonian or Thras, you may have to apply more salts if they become saturated. Some necromancers remove the vital organs before or after this process, but I have never found any practical reason for doing this. The next step is to wrap the servant in cloth or linen. This will further preserve the body against decay and, if done properly, will offer some protection as well. Do not worry if the corpse seems too stiff or desiccated to be a useful servant. The proper rituals will imbue the mummified corpse with the strength to move itself. Most importantly, you will have a much stronger servant who will follow your commands with more independence and understanding. And that's it for today's story time, so let's get on with the episode. Thank you. Okay, about that. Um... Count only the happy hours, Nighty. I'd be glad to offer my assistance. Is there some specific place you're seeking? Well, I actually only wanted to shop. Okay, more. More of these. Uh, thank you. Goodbye. Speak, traveler. So in the foreign quarter, there are some shops. Okay, I don't Move need along. to sell anything. So let's head over to the to the Lalu compound and talk to this Crassus Criorio so we can resolve that quest. And since we're then going back to the foreign quarter, we're going to be here. And the foreign quarter is right where the entrance to Vivek is. And then we can uh, take the Silstrider maybe to Molag Mar, hopefully. Because I know there was a Silstrider there. So let's head back downstairs. Yeah, this is, this is where we should have gotten off. So the Halalu compound is here, so it is not this house here, but this over there. Since my health isn't full, uh, well I could change that. Because I know I should be able, oh there is a lantern in the way, okay. That's what's making these weird sounds. Well, now we definitely need to rest. Okay. So this is Red Oren. Which I don't care much about. I mean... The thing with the killed um, ordinators does require us to go to the temple because uh, their hall of things is where the temple is. And um, so if we finish the um, pilgrimage to Mount Kand, 
then we can go to the temple and report back there, I guess. So it's up in the plaza, so we're going to head straight to the plaza. Of course, if House Lalu now attacks us immediately, we are kind of doomed, but I don't think this will happen, just because we are here. We are not that hated by the other houses yet. So, Versus Curio of Nations Corner Club. This is an alchemist, we're looking for a manor, pawnbroker. Go on about your business. A fellow Black Khajiit, hello there. What? Well, I actually just wanted to talk to you because you're a, fav a fellow Khajiit. What can you tell me about this compound? Well, it's the westmost canton. Councillor Cressis Curio has a splendid tier top mansion here. The tiers below contain Halalo treasuries, records, holding cells, and various services. There are two public houses, the Elf Nations and the No Name Club. A variety of craftsmen and tradesmen also have shops at Lalo compound. Some house Lalo nobles maintain residences in the less formal St. Delon and St. Olm's cantons. Councillor Vel Velanda Omani's manor is east of this city on Elmas Island. Well, thank you for that. I'm actually interested in Councillor Cressus Creo. This should be a weaponsmith. Yes. This is the weaponsmith. So these are all like trade houses. Is this the No Name Club? Let me check the map. Let me check my notes. Ah, this is the manor. Okay. I thought this was a trader, but this is the sign of House Lalu, I guess, because they are traders. Spit it out or hit the road. Sorry, I just want to talk to Cressus Cree, or can you play? Can you feel light? Can you can you perhaps tell me? No, she, there's no new information. Find a healer and stop bothering me. They're, they're reacting to my low health. That's interesting. Well, Cressus Curio is, I guess, this man because it sounds like an imperial name. Yeah. Yes, I'm Cressus Curio, but you can tell, call me Uncle Cressius. Uh, okay. Well. Well, can you tell me about yourself, Uncle Cressius? Ah, yes, that's my name. But it sounds like music when you say it. Um, okay. Um, I heard you have a new play. It's almost completed. I call it The Lusty Argonian Maid. It is a rather bawdy tale, but I think it will play well with the people. Be sweet, John Crassius, and there is something in it for you, sweet cakes. Here, take a look at some of the work so far. I think it's scrumptious. Okay. Um, well, I'd rather not, but uh, this sounds like you're looking for a theater troupe. A company of players. Yes, I would love to be able to form a company to put on my new play. But there are so few in the area that are willing to act, even for a good price. Of course, I need an actor with wit, grace, charm, and firm... Oh, never mind. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't be a bad choice, Muffin, but you seem to have other matters to attend to. If you see someone else to fit the bill, send them to Uncle Cressius. I sure will. I only have a few moments. I'm not going to play an Argonian maid, thank you very much. This is the advantage of having non-cable mouses. The disadvantage, though, and the reason why I use cable mouses, is you want they always run out of battery when you least expect it, and it's so annoying. Or the the reception, the um, wireless reception for the mouse is bad or something like that. So let's head back to foreign quarter. I can't jump down. Else I'll die. Well, I could use my telekinesis. No, I can't use any spells. I need to heal first. Okay, 
this. I know that there was a bridge up there, but there also was a boat there. So I can actually get a boat directly to the foreign quarter. And I think that's better than, than crossing the bridge and going down and then walking over. So I'm going to travel to the foreign quarter. And yeah, when we're out of Vivek and, and going to new places, I'm going to use the feature that we can get some lore. Okay, so we want to go to the upper waste works. Of the front quarter. Those are the lower ones. And then we can get to the upper ones just by what words do you have for me, using the son? inner doors, these. There we go. Now we're in the upper waste works, and this is where this is not where Jobasha is. Jobasha is down here. Oh, I'm confused. But well, that's just what happens. And I'm not talking about Jobasha. I'm I'm confusing myself even uh, further. Hey. This is where I want to go, to the Enchanter. What words do you have for me, citizen? None, because I'm confused. What's this Marcel. about? Well, I did find a theater troupe for you. You found a troupe forming. Then I must go see the noble patron. Thank you, my friend. You will not be forgotten. Yes, yes, the place, the thing, wherein I'll be catch the purse strings of that guy. Also, he will leave now, and, um, yeah, I, it doesn't say that I should go, maybe I should go and see Cross's Courier later, but let me real quick update my notes, because I convinced the guy before the foreign, before the enchantment to leave, so now I just need to get inside and talk to this guy. Um, have you heard? The annoying fool is gone. You've done it. I admire your persuasiveness. I'll, I'll always butcher this word. Friend, thank you for your help. Allow me to give you this as a token of my appreciation. An iron shard skewer. Let's check what this is. It's an enchanted spear with frost damage. Interesting, but I'm not using spears. What is it? What do you want? Well, I just want to give you your spear back, actually. And it's basically worthless. What's the official word? 31. What's a token of gratitude? Does he have anything else to say? No, just that you won't be a problem any longer. Okay. So since that's done, we are going to... Yeah, I'm going to move along. Let, let me just tell the people watching what I'm going to do. I'm going to go downstairs. No, I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to go upstairs. Change my plan. The Head into the major so skill and have a nap. Because I have a level up. And I want to use that level up, right? So that was here. Out these doors in the oven. Now we can go and Anytime you're ready. enter the Mage's Guild and Anytime use one of ready. their beds. Just don't keep me waiting. What do you want, Outlander? Just a nap. I'm a kitty after all, so I need those naps. And I'm going to rest until I'm healed. You woke today with a new sense of purpose. You're no longer afraid of failure. Failure is just an opportunity to learn something new. And I'm definitely going to use the, the, um, the, the five times things. I'm going to increase my speed and personality. But I also want to increase my magic. And I know that it was intelligence, but I'm going to check if there's health gain per level. Okay. Intelligence. So what's our maximum magicka now? 103. So for now... Ah, the first number is the 
is the cost. Check if there's any spell that we... 10, 100. So we can use Vivek Tears, Vivek's Tears. I don't know if you could use them before, but I guess not. Very good. And now we're going to head out. Do you have out and my time is precious, so make it quick. Try getting to Molokmar in the middle of the night to finish the pilgrimage. Yeah, this is where I want to go. Upper waste works. Down the stairs. Lower waste works. Down this ramp, which is barely visible to me, because um, for some reason some setting on my computer is keeping changing the brightness of the screen. Mm -hmm. So if we head outside, there should be a silt strider around here. There it is. I think I enabled some kind of window setting. I'm going to check that actually right now before I'm actually using the silt strider. So what about the desti destinations you have? Oh, nice, Molak Mar. Just, uh, let me just we make a it. special really trip place. just for you. Same low price. Everything looks better now. And this is not using high dynamic range. That's really weird, but Molak Mar is where we're going to go. Yes. Where would you like to go? Mount Kand. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for asking. So this is, I guess, the way we are having to head. First, down here. So now we're heading to Mount Kand, where we were supposed to solve the riddles of some uh, monsters, and we accidentally killed one of them. And we're going to go there in the hope of them still being there. I don't know if anything changed for you color-wise. I hope not, to be honest. I hope that this was just a display thing with me. And there it is, Mount Kanda. This is where we want to go. And again, take a sip of something to drink. Stay hydrated, folks. Dreaded Silt Strider. Mighty the Fire Mage prevailed. Thank you. Another enemy. That was heavy. That was lots of damage dealt. Oh. And they also cast the fireball, not the other spell. Okay, so we are, I mean, we are going to go to a mountain, so it is up the mountain, I guess. And 
find another one of those. And our Magicka supply is depleted again. But we can rest until healed. And again. And we're on our, we're nearly there. The cave in Mount Kand, where we have our quest. So let's head inside. winds downwards this cave and there's a fire atronic and we killed him the last time we were here and we we're not supposed to do that because as you see he isn't going to attack us he actually is just going to pose a riddle for us answer my riddle fool and then fight me ah okay so he's going to kill uh, try to kill us anyway the date recipe slowly in words, it obviously memorized. A metal, neither black nor red, as heavy as man's golden greed. What you do to stay ahead with friend or arrow or steed. Well, Ebony, glass, Dedrick, lead, or iron. The third verse, you know, the third line is what actually gave it away for me. It's lead. It's neither black or red. It's very heavy. And to lead is what you do to stay ahead. And you do it with a friend or a steed. And do you lead with an arrow? Well, maybe in a, in, in maybe in an in a archery game. So I'm going to through this pass, mortal. Ah, so he's not going to take us if we answer the riddle correctly, as I assumed in the first place. Perfect. Well, let's head on and see I have saved so if we sh if one of them should just attack us we can just reload but I guess we're going through all the elements so now there's a frost Atronach who's posing a riddle for us I guess he stands on ice Answer this riddle for me, mortal, or does thy blood run cold? If you lie to me, I will slay you with my sword. If you tell me the truth, I will slay you with a spell. Okay, and I can say, just say don't kill me, which I guess he will attack me, definitely. I can say you will slay me with your sword, and I can say you will slay me with a spell. If I say you will slay me with your sword, and this is a lie, you will take out your sword and kill me, but then it was a truth, so he should have slew me with a spell, making it a lie again. If I tell him you slay me with a spell, then he can just slay me with a spell because I said the truth, so I need to say I will, you will slay me with your sword. Excellent. You are a worthy opponent. If you do not wish to feel the chills of oblivion, you may pass. Well, thank you very much. One quick save later, we can head on. A quick check for the time. 
And there's the next. It's water around here. Okay. A storm atronach. Okay. I'm your final mortal, uh, final barrier mortal. Answer my riddle and then best me, if you can. My fellow Eternach, Sidious Soko, was slain. The Altmer claims the Dunmer is guilty. The Dunmer says the Khajiit did it. The Orc swears he didn't kill Sidious Soko. The Khajiit says the Dunmer is lying. If only one of these speaks the truth, who killed Sidious Soko? Logic riddle. So if it was the Altmer, then... If I answer the Altmer, then the Dunmer is not guilty, so the Altmer is lying. The Dunmer is lying because he said the Khajiit did it. The Orc says the truth, so that's one person saying the truth. And the Khajiit says the Dunmer is lying, which is tr also true. So it, it uh, so the Altmer is not the correct answer because two people are speaking the truth. If it's the Dunmer who did the deed, then the Altmer is saying the truth. The Dunmer is lying, which automatically makes the Khajiit saying the truth, and we don't need to go further, because we have already two people saying the truth. If it's the Orc, then the Altmer is lying, the Dunmer is lying, making the Khajiit saying the truth, and the Orc is lying. And just for good measure, we're going to go through. So this is one person lying, this is what I'm going to say, but for good measure, we're going to use go through the, sec the last one. If it's the Khajiit who slew his friend, his fellow Atronach, then the Altmer is lying, the Dunmer is saying the truth, the Orc is saying the truth, which makes two people, so it is the Orc who killed him. I acknowledge that your answer is correct, and I forgot the voice that I was making for him. Goodbye. So now we're allowed to... Pass. Or. Well, this, these sounds actually are pretty frightening. Okay, so it is. To here, I guess. Where we're supposed to go. Yeah, this. this the map looks like we weren't there. Okay, so this is a shrine, and the journal has been updated. Did we get a blessing? Yes, we got um, forty-seven minutes of forty-eight minutes of fortify endurance and intelligence. Nice. 